Hello there! Today we are diving deep into the world of base stations for SteamVR Lighthouse Tracking System. I will try to cover everything you need to know about base stations 1.0 and base stations 2.0, their differences, troubleshooting tips and much more. Let's get started! First off, let's talk about what base stations are and why we need them. Base stations are essential components of SteamVR Lighthouse Tracking System. You need them to track lighthouse headset, trackers and controllers. They emit infrared light, which is picked up by the sensor on your VR equipment to track your movements accurately. In fact, lighthouse tracking is one of the most accurate tracking right after professional motion capture solutions used for movies and games. It is important to mention at the beginning that base station won't work with all headsets or VR devices in general. Your device has to be compatible with Lighthouse Steam VR tracking system, otherwise it cannot be tracked by the base station. Of course, there is a way to mix standalone headset like Quest or Pico with Lighthouse, but it is not what this video is about. Now let's discuss the differences between base station 1.0 and 2.0. From the technical point of view, they work pretty similar. Construction is a little different, but they both use laser system and spinning motors. As you can see on the screen, base station 2.0 has wider FOV and higher range, which gives you more freedom in the placement of the base stations in your play space. That leads us to a very important difference, which is supported play area size. As you can see, 2.0 allows you to play in a very big location, way bigger than the one with 1.0. So how many base stations do you need? That is a very important question, right? While it is possible to use just one base station, which will only provide tracking on one side of your body, most users find two base stations are sufficient for standard room scale setup. For base station 1.0, you can only use up to two base stations in total. Base station 2.0, on the other hand, supports up to 16 base stations. However, each lighthouse tracking device can only be tracked by four base stations at the same time. For instance, with five base stations set up, one device might be tracked by base station number 1, 2, 3, 4, while the other device is tracked by 2, 3, 4, and 5. Using more base stations makes sense if your play space has many obstructions or it's simply very large, as more base stations can help eliminate that zone. There is not many differences in base station compatibility. It is actually quite simple. Old OG HTC Vive headset, including controllers in Vive Trackers 1.0, the ones with a gray logo, are only compatible with base station 1.0. All other devices like headsets, Vive or Tundra trackers, HTC index controllers are compatible with both base stations 1.0 and 2.0 at the same time. While most devices are compatible with both types of base stations, it is important to mention that you cannot use base station 1.0 and base station 2.0 at the same time. There is no way to make them work together. Sometimes base stations can have issues. One common problem is reflections, which can interfere with the tracking. To troubleshoot this, make sure to cover any reflective surfaces in your play area. For example, windows, computer screen, glass PC, side panel, glass table, aquarium, or even your shiny floor. Also, ensure that your base stations have a clear line of sight to each other and to your VR equipment. For people with mixed setups like Lighthouse Plus, Quest, or Pico headset, it is important to mention that some users reported tracking issues with base station 1.0 and Pico 4 controllers, which is related to infrared light emitted by the controllers. It can be emitted by multiple devices, not only Pico 4 controllers. So keep that in mind and in general try to avoid any reflections and infrared light source. Setting up your base station is relatively straightforward. Place them surely in opposite corners of your room, facing center of your play space at 45 degrees angle for optimal coverage and make sure to set their channels correctly. You can do that in Steam VR if you are using Lighthouse Track headset or manually using a button at the back of the base station if you are mixing it with a different headset. It is important to mention that you don't need to connect your your base station to the PC. Yes, it does have micro USB port, but it is only used for software update purpose, so you usually don't use it at all. At the end, I'd like to share my thoughts and personal experience with base station. My current play space area is around 4.5 meters. I used two base stations 1.0 before, but now I'm using four base stations 2.0. I'm using Pico 4 Pro headset, HTC Vive trackers, and index controllers. The tracking accuracy is amazing, but I will be honest. In my case, base stations 1.0 were just fine. I have a very simple play space and there is not really that much obstructions, so I cannot really see any difference. I would say that my tracking with 
two base stations 1.0 was 97% perfect, while with four base stations 2.0 it is closer to 99% perfect. Of course, as almost all lighthouse tracking users, I had some issues with my tracking and I usually thought it was related to the base stations, but after hours of troubleshooting, reading posts on the internet, asking friends, I can definitely say one thing. Based on my knowledge, most issues with lighthouse Steam VR tracking are related to dongles itself, so to the devices used to communicate your tracker or controller with your computer. But don't worry, I will cover that in my next video, which I'm gonna release in a week or two. That's it for now. If you have any other questions about lighthouse tracking or anything related to VR world in general, feel free to join our little Discord server. You can find the link in the description of this video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. See you soon in the future videos. Bye.